All right, everybody. This one's a little bit unexpected, but I saw this um, new to MTGO Modern Gauntlet League, which enables you to use one of six uh, random Phantom Modern decks, or Modern Legal decks. I don't know if I would call this a modern deck by any stretch, but uh, point being, um, I'm going to do it. And so far, it looks interesting enough. We have some Monastery Swiss Spheres, some Soul Scar Mages, First Lightnings, Runaway Steamkins, and at the top end we have some Bedlam Revelers. I've cut one Metamorphose in favor of Searing Blood. This does a... Um, something. <laughs> I, I, I don't really like Metamorphose that much. It doesn't feel like it really does a lot for me here. So I'm going to save the deck now. We're going to play. Oh, recording. <sighs> Um, looks like we're on the waiting plan again, so I'm probably just going to pause this and get back to y'all when we get there. We have been paired, and we won, uh, won the die roll, so I'm going to gonna keep this one lander and feel pretty okay about it. Either vial. Don't like to see that. I think that means I have to firebolt their face here. I mean, I was going to cast some kind of spell anyway. Firebolt just seems like the worst one. The least versatile. Well, not gonna lie, that does kind of own me, doesn't it? Yeah? You know, turns out Thali is a good card against the, uh, have one land and about a million things to do, one mana, X. It's pretty clear that Lava Dart is our play if we manage to draw another land here, but not liking the way this is looking so far. They have five cards to our six right now, but yikes. Is this just like hard counter to the mono red deck? What's next? Like a who even knows? <clears throat> Oof. Okay. Yeah, I mean, fifty cards. We have seventeen lands left. About a one in four shot. It's not counting on turn two Thalia. Guess that's my mistake.
My opponent still has to win the game, though, and casting an Ether Vial for two is not the kind of play that's going to do it. Now, Iganjo does stop me from doing the Lava Dart, but what it does not stop is me from getting value off of... I don't even know what's in their hand. Off of the uh, Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt actually gets there. Hey, look at that. What you got? Anatize? That'd be pretty funny. Are they deciding which thing to blow me out with? Because if they just uh, find a way to make this bad, I do just concede the game. <laughs> okay, well, good game. Alrighty, well, decidedly anti creature here. Sort of an either vial and deal some some damage. Metamorphosis is a placeholder. I think I keep the light up the stages. I don't think Crash Through is really doing it for me. There's searing blood in there. Actually, did we just go all in on the Ponza? Not reliably hitting three lands, am I? Not really. I'm gonna take it anyway. Molten Rain. Ooh, why am I taking Smash when I can take a Braid? Braid's much better than Smash in this uh, kind of game. Get rid of another Crash Through, take another Molten Rain. It's probably an awful plan, but you know what? I like it. I like this plan. Oh yeah. This is, uh, yeah, I mean... I'm more than ready. Submission received. Let's go. Okay, I guess I'll pause and bring you all back in a moment. This is certainly on the, the meager end of, uh... X I would consider modern legal. Pretty sure there's better payoffs than just Battle of Mergler. Should definitely be Argavon or two or three here. Oh, well, here we are. We'll play first. Orleans. Yeah, we'll do it. Bedlam Reveler got the Abraid. <clears throat> they lean too hard on the back of a, um, well, anything. You get to kind of own them a little bit there. Come on. Please play it. Nothing. Okay. Okay, well, certainly a card. You do get to gain three life there. <clears throat> I don't think I can just let the thing go around doing whatever it's doing, though. I've already shown at least one way to link stuff. 
little unfortunate that you didn't have something for me to blow up with the destroying artifact part, but I don't really have the luxury of waiting. I guess we did, the whole time. Lava dart. Flashback exiles. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, pretty far away from actually doing things. Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, I mean, we spewed one damage there. Kind of unfortunate, I guess. <coughs> we also drew five lands in our 18 land aggro deck. Late Splicer's not good for me to see, that's for damn sure. Should have done that during my uh, combat, obviously. It's two damage I've wasted on nothing. Only like one thing away from getting the Bedlam Revelers going. Get, we do get to cast one of them. Field of Run's not really going to do anything here. Maybe an Inspector's kind of miserable to see. Maybe my card beats their card. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Okay. I think I have to try and get them here. Yeah, this doesn't really get them the way I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, I would get caught by Resto, but... You get to play a thing now. Or wisp, get the Raven back again. Okay. Not really what I was hoping to see—a three-power flyer, but. Yeah, just seems a little bit better than what I'm doing in this deck. What am I gonna do? I mean. I'm going to cast a Bedlam Reveler, that's what I'm going to do. Alvadart? Yeah, we will do the beats. Next turn we get to Monastery Swift Spear with an additional two Lava Darts on deck. 
It's actually a pretty good amount of damage. And depending on what they're do, they uh, do here, that might inform our play a little bit better. But right now, the Golem is not going to be doing a lot of good blocking. What do they got? Ooh, kitchen pings? Really? Jesus. It's either vile, but they're down to one card. Okay, well. We're gonna blast the kitchen pings. We're going to Lava Dark the Kitchen, please. Oh, whoops. That's definitely not what I thought. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, we're just going to do that. Yeah, if I had known that that's, uh, I, I, I just don't really play with Soulscar Mage. It's a big, big misplay on my part. Thankfully, I've identified the misplays pretty much as soon as they occur. So far? That's why Lava Dart's good in this deck, I guess. There aren't really any good blocks for them, but they don't have to block. They're going to block, because, well, it's not going to get any better. Means I probably should have just killed the Draven Inspector, but I feel like that would have been worse. Okay, yeah, they can have a, either Vile if they want it. I don't really see what that's going to do for them. I don't know what's in their deck that's really going to be much higher than four. Okay. Another card? Thalia? Thalia's a little late to the party. I don't know if she's really as good as she would be here. Not quite there yet. Um, can play it next turn, though. That's the good news. Playing it next turn is pretty good. Unfortunately, they've thrown a good number of lands in this game, so it's not really at its best yet. It's Splicer's kind of the opposite of what I wanted to see. More things? I'm just cracking the clue. Really? Well, I would have been pretty surprised on that one. All the spike. So, Smolten Rain. I can kill the non basic with this, that's the good news. Like, there's a good chance that I literally just have enough burn. 
However, they can first strike out my Bedlam Reveler here. Not really anything I can do about that. I just have to pass the turn, put them to five next turn. I get to crack the clue. Looking for not Flicker Wisp, that would be the bad thing. Selfless Spirit, yeah, that's fine. Pretty far from being something that's gonna kill me. Really not great, but. Um, I do think I just blast them. This point, let's see what I got in there. Bob's flag, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I mean, I would like another Bedlam Reveler, that would be pretty nice. Still got a pretty solid set of cards on the battlefield now. There's an argument for holding. It just means that they have to block with something mediocre, like... They've been Inspector or whatever. Well, that was kind of the worst case scenario that they have another flicker wisp, but I'm not so far going to get here. They did it at the wrong time as well. So they don't even like get it back there. They were supposed to do was do it on my end step, then they would have it to attack with right now. Would have been a pretty good attack or two, but now there's still an opening for me to win with some combination of burn spells. But, they had an end step, not a main. Their problem, not mine. Another Thraben Inspector. Wow. You know, I generally don't really like mono red strategies that much. Especially when they're so utterly fragile. Yeah, play your splicer again. No, you don't have to, it just comes back for free. Yikes, Jesus. Okay. Um, Swift Spear, not really what I'm looking for here. Made it through one third of my deck about. I have drawn the appropriate number of lands for that, unfortunately. Yeah. What gets to do the thing they want to do? Really? Jesus. Okay. Is there a combination of cards that gets me out of this? Technically, yes. No longer. Well, that is how that goes sometimes. Let's see if we can get another match in. Uh, looking back on that game, I spewed maybe four damage there. Would have been enough to put them to one, but there isn't a combination of blocks that leaves me alive on the on the battlefield as it was. That was just a game where I was dead. I guess I maybe should have mauled that hand. It just turned out to be a little clunkier than I was hoping. A lot of risk, not a whole lot of reward for what I did. 
But, you know, hindsight's always 2020. We got into a match and we won the die roll. Unfortunately, we have nothing to do. Very risky, but... Opponent also on the mole plan. Well, <sighs> unfortunately for my opponent, it keep a bit of a threat dense hand. Oh, okay, well, I guess, um, there's some things I don't know. I'm incentivized to keep cranking out these uh, spells. I'd like to get to my Bedlam Reveler as quick as possible. Cards ain't worth a thing if I don't spend them. Yeah, no, not liking what's happening over there. Try out of the Elysian Grove. Thanks. Oof, really? They put scape shift in a casual queue like this? It's pretty miserable. I'm expecting Blood Braid Elf now. Jesus Christ. Main deck Anger of the Gods? What the fuck is going on? Not even close to casting the Reveler. This is... This is pretty miserable. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't really see the merit in killing this now. I think I have to burn their face. Yeah? That is well, I could... In some trouble, I guess. Huh. 
I'm going to play the Valakut deck. Main deck, Anger of the Gods. Owes every single creature strategy I've seen so far. It's just Acid Moss. Destroy their land? Yeah. You're supposed to target my land with that. Well, Good news is, Valakut is done with what it's doing. Unfortunately for me, however, I'm still a while away from casting the Bedlam Reveler. I had to blow some spells just on that thing to make sure I didn't die. Not the greatest, not the greatest. You're gonna do this, that's for sure. So we'd love to do that. Well, we will be doing both of those next turn. Ideally, with a mountain behind us on the draw step. Hmm. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I mean... I don't know. I don't know about this one. I got, like, Crash Through and a Soul Scar Mage. My opponents get to play with Prime Time. Yeah, that's a win. Good job. Jesus. Okay, um... Molten Rain... Molten Rain's okay. Metamorphose is... I guess it's just a spell to cast. Seems like the pretty obvious cut here. I don't like a braid right now. There's nothing... I'm seeing from them that makes me think a braid's gonna be good. Full Guide Lantern doesn't do anything. Dragon's Claw doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're just gonna submit like this and see if we can get there. Okay, we get back into the game and we're gonna play first. Old Soul Scar Mage. And we had Removal Spell into Board Wipe into Prime Time. A little bit overtuned for this uh, this deck, I think. Really, that's lame. We'll search for tomorrow. Interesting. They really wanted to pay the iron price for that one. Well, when in doubt, cast your card draw spell first. Then, feel sad. You have the Searing Blood, so I'm gonna punish them for any kind of creature they play here, but more than likely I feel like drawing the four lands is gonna be the death of us.
five lands. Yeah, not gonna lie, Chief. Not really what I was looking for. Some games you draw one land for the whole game. Some games you just draw every land. We're on pace to have drawn 30 lands in our deck. So, sometimes your opponent just has it all. Hearing blood is like the worst version of that. Isn't Searing Blaze the one you want these days? Like we have all spells in there, so we can in fact cast a Bedlam Reveler. The fact that our payoff is four cards is really murderous. Well, Oh, it's a little far away from actually killing us so far. That can change. They're one prime time away from just, you know, us getting got. Yeah, we get a Valakut. Got the uh, prime time to go with it. Pretty gross. Technically, I'm not dead here. There are some lines that get me out of this. Draw burst lightning, that does it. Jesus. I don't believe Oppo gets a prime time board wipe deck. I'm stuck with this. Yeah. See if we can get a third uh, match in. There's a reason that mono red's not usually how things go for a lot of the modern decks that are trying to burn people out. I mean, one of the biggest is that you have things like Sunbaked Canyon that can really help uh, mitigate flood. You have just better burn spells and stuff like Boros Charm and stuff like that. Zoo variants that are better at reducing people's life totals. This deck just feels kind of miserable so far, to be honest. Doesn't really feel like I ever build up to anything worthwhile. And the creatures are so few and far between that, like, one removal spell just murders me. And that's pretty much exactly what's happened. Not to mention, it's really felt like my opponents have had basically the silver bullet for me. All of my sideboard cards are kind of reactive. I don't even know what the fucking Soul Guide Lantern is for. But what I do know is that uh, Smash the Smithereens 
is not a very good sideboard card against what my opponent was doing in round one. Does nothing against my opponent in round two. Like, I don't even have outs against my opponent in round two. Like, my goal is kill them before they cast spells. And they have main deck board rights. So, enough sell. Well, see you in the third round. getting dazed or spike whatever it is I don't have anything to do about it so But it's strange. Jesus. Okay, I mean, the fact that that landed feels pretty good for me. Who knows what they'll be getting with the Flooded Strand, though. Followed Fountain, tapped. Okay. Jesus Christ. I'm playing, like, Pauper over here or something. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, 
Well, that was turn three win, you know. My opponent doesn't do anything about this exact card, and I have a good one drop, which is not likely since I only have eight of them. I guess I can do stuff like that. What's good against what my opponent was doing? Soul Guide Lantern? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. I have no idea what my opponent was doing. I know Searing Blood's probably not going to be at a premium. Plus they're bringing in something that just... You know, there's just not enough information. We'll just submit the deck like this and see what happens. See y'all in the next game. Okay, um... I think we keep this off the back of the Soul Scar Mage. And the light up the stage. And a leak. Well, I can't pay, so I won't. Do you have the Swift Spear? No idea what my opponent could have boarded in or out. Down. Okay. Yeah, I mean, can't really do much about that one. I'm ahead in the cards, uh, cards game right now a little bit. Not by a lot though. Double Fields of Ruin is kind of punishing them a little bit. I imagine there have to be some number of cards that they just can't cast right now. Um, yeah, we're just going to try and do that. We do connect. And light up the stage with spectacle again. See if they counter it again. Yeah, another... Either Gust. We'll put it right on top. Successfully delayed for one turn. And since you uh, didn't draw land... Uh-oh. In a field of ruin, one of their... Jesus. That's kind of miserable. Really have too many options but to do that. Really wanted to light up the stage, but we'll take it. Let's just walk path or something. Ugh. Skull?
Well, I have to kill that. That's for damn sure. It's five mana, so they can't do it if they do that. If, I think all roads start with me attacking for one here, I think. Really banking on getting the land here. Ugh. Yeah. I think we just run it back here. I don't think there's anything to learn from that game. Except maybe that a braid is coming in. I guess it's okay against that. Also just solid against some of the creatures I saw. Better than Searing Blood. Maybe better than Crash Through. Yeah. Just a bit like that. Raid kills Batter Skull pretty good. And if their game plan ends up revolving around Batter Skull in any way, it would be nice to be able to have that. We will take the play. And as much as I like this card, I don't know if I can keep this hand. We have a lot of good draws. Chances are the next four of them will be mountains. But I don't think it's worth sandbagging to get the Runaway Steam King going. Ugh. Yeah. I saw that one coming. First game have one land. This game have four lands immediately. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'll use the ability. Take a mountain. Guess that's what I get. But now they have to avoid pretty much every burn spell for the rest of the game. I don't have a reason to play out the land. Only thing that really punishes me for it is like light up the stage stuff. Well, they didn't have a counter spell for that one.
Nope, I would not like to. Pretty okay chance that we actually do get to win this game. We're definitely not winning on board right now. We need a way to draw cards. Um. Or they can just have the perfect sideboard card against me. Literal life game? Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty miserable. Damn, like this deck is ass, like facing off against Snapcaster Mages and Celestial Colonnades. I ain't even got man lands, I just got basics. Yeah, they didn't block. That's the good news, at least. So many lands that are just worth playing in. Oh, right. You don't have any. Oh my god. Sword of Beast and Famine? Jesus. <laughs> Christ. Somehow, if they have another sword, I just can't beat it, so. I should build a snapcaster now, that's my judgment. Yeah, guess I'll do it. We're on course to hit a good, um, 28 lands in this game so far. Based on our current drawing strategy. <sighs> I just can't trips. I can't I draw cards that are good. I've drawn literally one land more than my opponent. Scratch that. Yeah, that will do it. Yeah. Yep, that's how that goes. Yay me. Alrighty, well... Look, um... I think the clear lesson that I can take from this event is that the mono-red deck is... just a, 
a random number generator. My opponent doesn't have any kind of interaction, and I have the perfect start. I can turn three, kill them with relative ease. But if I don't have one of my four copies of one card, and I don't draw double metamorphose, and um, if my opponent has any kind of way to interact with me, and to just sputter and do nothing, and then don't draw enough burn to get the job done. Or I just draw like nine lands. You know, sometimes that's just how events go. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching me get absolutely thrashed. Feel free to leave a comment, a like, a subscribe. If you'd like for me to have some of the hair I've been pulling out, it uh, surgically reimplanted. That's a pretty expensive procedure. Um, thanks again for tuning in. Have a good night. This has been Robot Rouse.